The NFL draft kicks off tonight, and we're expecting two players with local ties to be selected at some point. And not only do they have NFL dreams, both played and won together at the same high school. CBS News Philadelphia's Ross Tivate found out why this is such a big deal, even for a powerhouse like St. Joe's Prep. Well, the names Jeremiah Trotter and Marvin Harrison are considered NFL royalty by many football fans. One of them is an all-time Eagle, the other a Pro Football Hall of Famer. Now their sons are setting out to establish their own legacy in the league, and we're learning that they've already set a new standard at their alma mater. It can be hard to stand out at St. Joe's Prep, unless you're Marvin Harrison Jr. or Jeremiah Trotter Jr., who won multiple state championships during their record-setting high school careers, before going on to shine on the college level. Harrison at Ohio State and Trotter at Clemson. But those who knew them back then say it's not just their famous names that set them apart. Of all the students I've taught, the thousands I've taught, what comes to, who comes to mind when I think of the most disciplined, the most dedicated, the most consistent, the most focused, Marvin and Jeremiah are at the top of that list. In 2019, Miss Susie Cook taught both Trotter and Harrison and says they made a mark on her that she'll never forget. She even gave us the scouting report on their high school writing skills. Marvin had difficulty with starting too many sentences with conjunctions, and Jeremiah's limitations in his writing game involved comma slices and sentence fragments. And so they were totally open to my feedback all the time. They met with me outside of class. So these weren't students who, who had any kind of attitude about constructive criticism. That humility and hard work translated to unprecedented success on the football field, where head coach Tim Rokin says Trotter and Harrison raised the bar for the entire program. I think it, it allows young men within this school and with program to understand, hey, their dreams can be accomplished if, if, they, if, they, if they, you know, put in the hard work, uh, stay disciplined, and follow that process. I could never stop Marv, like never. I never got even one rep on him. Emilio Agard, a Wisconsin commit, was a freshman at the prep when Marvin Harrison Jr. was a senior. He didn't let the age and talent gap stop him from following Harrison all over the field, gaining confidence while trying to keep up and cover him. It showed me that if I, if I can go against him in practice and have the confidence to go and step in front of him, I could do it with anybody. So it already boosted my confidence for the rest of my career. When you play linebacker in this program, you want to play like a Trotter, I would say. Linebacker Anthony Sacca, who's headed to Notre Dame, didn't get to play with Trotter or Harrison, but he says their records and reputations make them the gold standard for future players at the prep. I would probably describe them as the epitome of what it means to be a St. Joe's prep football player. I mean, not only what they did on the field, but I mean, you could ask anybody in the building. They were very hardworking, very well-spoken. I mean, they were just an all-around great, great person, and even off the field, they were awesome. So keep an eye out for Marvin Harrison Jr. and Jeremiah Trotter Jr. during this year's NFL Draft. Marvin's projected to go early in the first round, probably too early for the Eagles to be able to select him. But Jeremiah is projected as a third or fourth round selection, and we know there's a ton of Philly fans who would love to see another Trotter linebacker in Eagles green. At 17th and Gerard, Ross DiMatte, CBS News, Philadelphia. Wouldn't that be great? Ooh, we'll have to see what happens. Wishing them the best of luck with the draft tonight.